Today's topic is febrile seizure. A febrile seizure is a convulsion or seizure in a child associated with a high body temperature above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It usually happens during the first few hours of a fever. Febrile seizures occur in children between 6 months and 5 years of age, but more prevalently for children around 12 to 18 months of age. Young children affected usually have normal development without a history of neurologic symptoms. Children younger than 12 months at the time of their first febrile seizure have a 50% chance of a recurring episode, while children over 12 months when they have had their first febrile seizure have about 30% chance of a recurring episode. Febrile seizures are not considered epilepsy. However, there is a slightly increased risk for children who experience febrile seizure to develop epilepsy. Febrile seizures can be very frightening and can look very serious, but they are usually harmless and do not indicate a serious health condition. There are two types of febrile seizure, simple and complex febrile seizures. Simple febrile seizures are the most common type, lasting from a few seconds to 15 minutes. They are not restricted to one part of the body, such as the arm or leg, and do not recur within a 24-hour period. Complex febrile seizures are less common and can last longer than 15 minutes. The child may experience more than one episode within 24 hours, and this type is confined to one part of the body. Causes Studies suggest that febrile seizures may be linked to the way that a child's developing brain reacts to high fever. The fevers that trigger the condition are most often caused by a viral infection and less often by a bacterial infection. Influenza and the virus that causes roseola are often common culprits. Vaccinations. Fever may accompany some childhood immunizations, including diphtheria, tetanus, and measles, mumps, rubella, or MMR vaccinations. It should be noted that the fever accompanied by this vaccination causes the seizure, and not the vaccination itself. Most kids who get febrile seizure have a family history of the condition. Symptoms Stiffened body Shaking, jerking, or twitching of arms and legs Loss of consciousness Irregular breathing Vomit or urinating during the convulsion Moaning or crying. Diagnosis and treatment. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will review the child's medical history and developmental history to eliminate more serious causes of fever and seizures, such as meningitis and encephalitis. Blood and urine tests may be used to detect an infection and know what kind it is. If an infection is suspected in the brain, a spinal tap may be needed. If the child has a complex febrile seizure, an electroencephalogram, or EEG, may also be recommended to measure brain activity. The doctor may also recommend an MRI to check the child's brain. This is done if the child has an unusually large head, a febrile seizure that lasted for a much longer period, an abnormal neurological evaluation, symptoms and signs of increased pressure in the brain. Treatment. In most cases, febrile seizures will resolve on their own within a few minutes. If your child is experiencing a febrile seizure, follow these steps. Place the child on his or her side on the ground or floor or any surface where he or she won't fall to avoid choking. Start timing the seizure to keep track of how long it lasts. Loosen any clothing around the neck or head. Watch for signs of breathing problems. Stay close to watch and comfort the child. Do not try to restrain or hold the child. Do not put anything in the child's mouth. Do not try to put the child in lukewarm or cool water to cool off. If the seizure lasts more than five minutes or the child turns blue, call 911. For seizure that lasts longer than five minutes, the doctor may recommend medications. The child may be hospitalized for observation if the seizure is prolonged. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.